if you ask American doctors, uh, and I'm sorry, it's a complex slide, but the point here is most American doctors now favor national health insurance. Someone told us when we started Physicians for a National Health Program, that sounds like furriers for animal rights. Uh, <laughs> but we're now in a majority. Uh, if you ask, by the way, health economists, and you don't hear it much from the experts, but here are a recent survey of health economists, and more health economists favor single-payer national health insurance than favor any other proposal for reform that's been out there. Even among health economists, we're in the majority. Well, the way we go about making health policy in this country violates fundamental rules of, of behavior in public health. Here, they put a parking lot on the edge of, a, of a, uh, the sea without a fence around it, and a car has fallen in. And rather than doing it right the first time, they call a tow truck in sort of typical American fashion, uh, and, um, you know, that can get you in trouble. Uh, <laughs> And in uh, sort of the usual American response, we keep sending bigger tow trucks. Um, but even, even that gets you in trouble. Now, uh, we can keep on doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Uh, we're doing it in Massachusetts and we're heading towards the same result that has now been observed in six other states. Uh, it's time we get on to something new and we hope that the rest of the nation can learn from the grave pain we've suffered in Massachusetts. What I have not done is tell you uh, I'm the ward attending on the, on the wards at the inpatient service at Cambridge Hospital this month, um, off for one day. We have an enormous suffering that we see day to day. And while I tell jokes, uh, we should not lose sight that there are real patients suffering real things. I just end that I have one patient now who is refu refusing chemotherapy for a, a cancer very much like the one that, that the congressman spoke of. Because the co-payments for his insurance, the public insurance, make that chemotherapy unaffordable for him. A curable cancer almost certainly leading to death that this man will suffer because of the defects in our health system. I thank you very much for your